Hello YouTube, and welcome to another uh, episode of Mercenary Team Deathmatch. This time, it is on High Rise, and I'm going to be using my stealth class. Um, I've got the ACR with a silencer, uh, cold-blooded, uh, sitrep pro, and scavenger pro, because you run out of you run out of ammo way too quickly with this thing if you if you are not uh, stopping power or lack of stopping power and a silencer on this thing equates for putting a lot of ammo in people. Now it's still a good gun, um, as everyone knows. It's laser accurate. It is, uh, I believe, the most accurate gun in the game. Uh, so you won't have a problem hitting people, and in this game, accuracy is far more important than power, which is why the ACR is such a good gun, and why so many people bitch about it all the time. But, with that said, um, yeah, I, uh, I prefer Sitrep Pro, uh, for the most part, just because, you know, Ninja Pro, <clears throat> Ninja Pro is great if you're rushing, but I tend, I, I, I've found that rushing is not as viable of a tactic in this game. I, I've had great rushing games, but I cannot, absolutely cannot do consistently well with rushing. Um, uh, like, with, with stealth rushing, I mean, like, cold-blooded ninja, marathon. Um, <clears throat> I know some people like to do that, but it, it's just, it's one of those things that playing defensively is always going to do better for you in this game. That's, it's just kind of how it works. Um, I think if they reintroduced Juggernaut somehow, um, rushing would be a much more viable tactic, but at this point, it's really not. So, uh, let's talk about what's going on here, first of all. Um, the reason it seems like it's starting off so slow is mostly because I'm I'm creeping towards them. When you, It's okay to be aggressive and get, get in their spawn and uh, get next to them. Ultimately, that is where you want to be, like in their spawn or right up next next to them on the front line, but where they won't know where you are. Um, do a little uh, reload cancel to a drop shot there. Um, another good reason to play on uh, the tactical button layout. Anyways, um, but that is where you want to be. And instead of just rushing directly into their spawn, like I see a lot of people do, um, creeping toward it, uh, crouching, uh, going prone and just crawling your way there, I guarantee you that will get you in there without getting killed. I, I once played an entire match just staying in prone, and I'm pretty sure I didn't die once, and I got like two chopper gunners or something, I don't know, it, it was, I of course didn't record it, because all these matches you're seeing now have been recorded pretty much within the past 48 hours. So anyways, um, yeah, but staying prone really helps uh, helps you stay out of the line of fire and helps enemies uh, or it prevents enemies from um, from seeing you several times in the beginning there you saw me fire at that guy in the window and then he peeked back out and he had no idea where I was so <clears throat> it's always a good idea to take the safe route in this game and just be as safe as possible you don't want to you don't want to try to get ballsy with it all the time I mean it, it's okay to to rush and have fun, but I I can guarantee you that won't work you that won't work for you all the time. So having uh, I'm I'm just constantly uh, retreating here. I got up in their into their spawn and then um, started getting a little too hot, so um, I kind of backed out and then their spawns completely flipped. So now I'm directly right up on their next spawn and I'm picking them off as I'm hearing them. Again, Sitrep Pro is pretty crucial for this. So if you don't have it, I highly recommend it. I've heard that, um, uh, what was it, Hardcore Headquarters, I believe, is a great way to get Sitrep Pro. And if you don't know how to unlock Sitrep Pro, just, you know, Google it. Basically, it just involves you destroying 120 enemy equipments, Claymores, C4, attack inserts the like and uh here i get another fail ac-130 yes i do kill myself again with my ac-130 i really have to stop doing that um i see a little flash of red the little red box and i'm like oh here i'll just shoot there and yeah and then i kill myself but in in the end it doesn't matter my score ends up being like 29 and 2 i believe so still a great score 
And um, I do prefer the AC-130 over the chopper gunner um, most of the time. And uh, even though it looks like it sucks here, and I'm, I'm not doing that well with it, when I do well with either of them, uh, I tend to do better with the AC-130. And I think that's just because I have an entire field of view, so I can see the whole map. And um, I don't know, I, uh, something about the chopper gunner just, I, I think it's, by now, everyone sees it as such a threat that it gets shot down immediately. So that wraps up the game, as I get an unlucky death right at the end. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, I plan on further discussing stealth tactics more in a defensive way um, in my next video series called Turning the Tide. Look for it. Thank you, guys.